Welcome back, everyone. IGN Live at Comic-Con, presented by the all-new LG G4. I'm Damon, this is Eric, and it's time to talk about Arrow. Stephen is obviously Oliver Queen. Yes. And yes. He's Felicity Smoke, and when he's a writer and producer on the show. Yes. And uh, you guys, you know, uh, you came off an ending of a season. It was interesting because uh, on a show where a lot of bad things happen, uh, it was like, hey, you know, uh, Oliver and Felicity driving off into the sunset. All their problems are over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to give you some hope <laughs> so, so hope. that we can exactly. crush it. <laughs> so what is going to happen, Stephen, that's going to make him go, oh, I got to turn this car around? <laughs> well, but this, this, I know, I don't, turn, I don't turn the car around. We right. go, we vacation, we land in a spot that is not Starling City. We have established a nice, uh, relatively domesticated life by aero standards. Yeah. And, um, but, but there are problems in the city that, based on breaking news of recent days, most likely relate to a Mr. Damien Dark. Yeah, that was your uh, your big reveal uh, about a day or two ago. Uh, yep. Damien Dark, the casting. Wendy, can you talk about bringing this guy in? We've had a lot of big villains on the show. Yeah, no, we're very excited about Neil. It's somebody that we've had, he was kind of our first choice for the for casting Damien. And we really just wanted somebody who would bring a lot of gravitas and a lot of menace. We really wanted somebody who was going to be scary and could hold a candle to John Barrowman and Manu Bennett and the other you know super big bads we've had in the show before. Mm -hmm. Now, Emily, uh, last season there was a lot of conflict, obviously, with Oliver and Felicity. They often were on like the different sides uh, mm -hmm. of things, but then at the end they worked things out. Uh, going, you know, into the season, clearly at some point, having to go back to Starling City after this happy time away, are they, you think, more on the same page than they've ever been? Um, I think just because we had last season, there was a lot of push and pull, and they both had to trust each other, kind of going off into the sunset. You also have to have that mutual trust that, like, we're going to actually give this a real shot. Um, and they've had the past five months to sort of do that and vacation. Now we're coming back and we get to see them being a couple, mm -hmm. working together as a couple, but also they've, they've left something that occupied their lives so in such a large way that there's going to be this little bit of a void and how are they filling that? And I think that's more of the question that brings them back around to color another shape into their lives, <laughs> right. but now as a team. And you know, let's, you know, let's talk about the team, which has changed. There's been shifts and people have come and gone in the team. Um, you know, uh, now we've got Thea costumed up, uh, which you know kind of just happened at the end. Uh, you know, how after all that's happened, uh, what do you think is Oliver's viewpoint on that? Well, he he's at ease as he can be with Thea being speedy and being out there with the team, knowing what a dangerous, uh, lethal world it can be. Yeah. But I, I do think personally that you know over the first few episodes of the season, certainly that I've read. Um, Willa Holland's character and, and what she is going through uh, was of most interest to me. Mm -hmm. I think it was really interesting. And, and it, it's, it's something that was set up last season that you know, we, the writers, follow through on. Mm -hmm. And uh, Felicity and, and Ray ended on good terms, uh, but then Ray didn't uh, end on good terms. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turned to dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, it would be, it, we, can, we can laugh about it if we didn't know that he had a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know yeah. a show. Guy's okay. No, sorry, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had him earlier, so we know that. Um, but, you know, uh, well, obviously, you know, that I would assume that, that we will see the reverberations of that and how your character and everyone is sort of dealing with right now what seems to be a, a bad uh, bad thing has happened. Well, I feel like Felicity and Ray were gonna try and be friends post their relationship, which mm -hmm. would have been, um, w will be awesome and would have been a little rocky at first, but now it's just gonna be even rockier because he's supposed to be dead and he's now alive. <laughs> yes, hard to be friends. Um, which we all know, but they don't. Yep. So Felicity's gonna be a little right. bit of a shock, I think. <laughs> yep. But science is changing. There's gonna be a bit of a twist, <laughs> yep, but you're going to be the one that, you know, helps bring him back to the show. So it's going to be exciting. Oh. It's going to be a mystery. Well, Breaking news. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's not recurred. too big a spoiler, but you know. <laughs> You're like, yeah, here I am. <laughs> Apparently Wendy's tired of dancing around questions <laughs> at this point of the day. Episode five. Yeah, right. Exactly. And she's fired. All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the flashbacks. <laughs> the flashbacks are a yeah. component of the show that um, I'm very curious. You know, uh, because we're kind of we're getting closer and closer to the five years. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, uh, for for both uh, Wendy and Stephen, you know, where are where are you going this year with the flashbacks? Where are you going to take them? I, you really can't. I personally can't reveal anything about the flashbacks other than I anticipate and don't even know that one of the elements that 
that Damien Dark is bringing to the show, which we've talked about today, is magic and mysticism is something that I anticipate, based on the, the tenor of our show, all of will experience in the flashbacks this year. Hmm. But the exciting part for me is that you're right, we are closing in on the beginning of our series, the first frames of our series. And um, there's definitely, relative to Oliver's physical appearance at the beginning of the series, there's a real head-scratching moment in one of the first flashbacks this year. Hmm. We actually have a question from one of our viewers on Twitter we can pull up here. This question comes from... Where do we read it? Uh, Chris, who asked if Oliver could fight any villain in the DC universe, who would it be and why? Mm. I would. Oh, jeez. Pretty good. I don't know. That's a really good yeah. one. How is Felicity Smokes? Fel <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, Felicity Smokes' dad? Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I was fed that, yeah. by the way. <laughs> 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 well, should we do a follow-up there, Emily? Have you been given any information on this dad that then Oliver could maybe Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I haven't really. I'm hoping that he might come into play soon, because we know that he somewhat exists. He exists. We just don't know in what capacity. Yes. Um, he does exist. He's going to be a part of this coming season. We are very hopeful. Um, so we'll show, that's as much as I can say. About you just got to have story make it there. Like, that's it's, hard, too. No, so it's actually, change. we have a lot of ideas about how to bring him in. It's just a question of, of now that we have Damien and um, a, a couple other villains coming into play that will be announced later today, it's a question of finding where to put him. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we yeah. announcing villains tonight in Hall H? We are, and we might be oh. announcing hey, We have. I think Damien Dark was our big reveal this week. You just you just wait till tonight. What? <laughs> uh, hmm, I think everyone should be paying it's attention tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mysticism uh, is opens the door to uh, Mr. John Constantine, a character that both you, Stephen, and Mark uh, Guggenheim have said you know they'd love to bring in at the time when the show was kind of a little bit in limbo. Now the show is canceled, unfortunately. But do you think you know Wendy is there room yeah, for that? We really want to do it. It's mm -hmm. a, it's something we've been talking to DC about and that. Um, it's just a question of certain political things, but also the, the actor schedule. So we're trying to we're trying to work it out, but we we don't know for a hundred percent if it's going to happen. Fingers but crossed. We're That's really fun. optimistic, and we would love to have him. It'd no. be very exciting. That's really cool. Like yeah. to happen as well. Mm -hmm. um, we got one little moment in the. Uh, I talked to you a bit in New York about this, Emily, but the fact that you got to <laughs> rescue uh, Oliver armored up. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be holding on to that armor yeah. because. You know, someone's going to need it. Yes. But would you like to see uh, some, not, if not a costume, some sort of extension of her skills in a more physical manner? I, so I've been debating this in my head for a while. Mm, yeah. I believe that Felicity sit, does sit behind her computer and is a hero in her own way. And if she were to put on a suit and go elsewhere without, without having someone to take her place behind that, mm -hmm. behind that screen that she does now in helping the team, where would that be coming from? Um, I think that I sometimes jump to the idea of like, oh yeah, she'd be great It's physical because I'm a very physical person and then I think, well, she's not very coordinated, we could work on that. <laughs> um, but also her love for computers and technology and being able to problem solve on that is something she really loves to do and I wouldn't want to take that away from her. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to, res I respect her for that. So I used to say yes, absolutely. And now I'm kind of like, well, I'm not so sure. Right. I, wouldn't wa I don't want to. I don't want to rip her away from something that she loves so dearly and that she's so good at and she keeps getting better at. Yeah, yeah. We're actually just about out of time, but uh, before we go, Stephen, you recently played a character in another comic book. Universe. Yes. With green as an yes. important yeah. color. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Looks yeah good anything on you. you can tell us about playing Casey Jones? That um, this is not, when people saw the photo, it, it's certainly not your father's or your younger mm -hmm. selves, Casey Jones, <laughs> but that's because we meet him at a very different time in his development. He is not the Casey Jones that a lot of comic book fans have come to know and love. He is um, he is a guy with a job that lives mm. in New York and loves hockey, mm. and uh, things go awry. And um, when he, he, he goes through the normal methods of what someone would do when they're a law-abiding citizen, and he's met with uh, laughter and scorn, <laughs> so he decides to take things into his own hands. Take some of those <laughs> hockey skills. That's right. If all, by the way, if Oliver needs to do any new fighting this year, I would suggest a baseball bat or a hockey stick because I am now <laughs> yeah. proficient. Ready. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's write that in there. Well, thank you so yeah. much. I love the hockey stick idea. Yes, thank you so Great much. Uh, Arrow is back in <laughs> October. Is there a October, dates? October, Wednesday, October 7th at 8, 7 central 
on the CW. Yeah. You'll Excellent. definitely be watching. Thank you guys well so much. Done. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, we're almost done with day three here at uh, Comic Con, but stay tuned. We still have a little bit more to show you here on IGN Live after this. Woo. Awesome, guys. Oh, yeah. man. Hang on. Great talking. IGN Live at Comic-Con is presented by Marvel's Ant-Man in theaters July 17th and the all-new LGG4. See the great, feel the great.